everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over everything that you need to do before Season 3 ends and Season 4 begins in Mutt 25, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. We're going to start with what do we know about Season 4, not too much, but according to Mutt Leaks, here is going to be the upgrade path for more than likely the free players that we're going to get in the Season 4 Field Pass. More than likely going to work the same way that Seasons 1, 2, and 3 worked, where we get a welcome pack that gives us a choice of maybe 1 of 5 or 1 of 6 base players. And at this point, it looks like they're going to be upgraded all the way up to a 94 overall. It will likely be time-gated to where that last upgradable token or collectible that you need won't be available right at launch. But according to Mutt Leaks, we're going to have a base 86 overall. And at the end of the season, the max OVR that you're going to be, up, uh, be able to upgrade these players to is a 94. Now, four or five days ago, before we got this tweet about the upgrade path specifics and the OVR, uh, the theme appears to be here for season four, football is family. So this could go, you know, a couple different ways, but you have to think maybe there's going to be a Marvin Harrison and Marvin Harrison Jr. card, Joey Porter and Joey Porter Jr., maybe Jeremiah Trotter and his son, Asante Samuel and Asante Samuel Jr., a bunch of different routes that they could go. My only thing with that is it could get a little bit difficult if they're only going to get a, give us five players like we've seen in other field passes. Are we just going to get the sons of the players who played in the past? Are we just going to get the past players? Are we going to get both? Are we going to get a combination of one or the other? Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, here is the content schedule for the full week. The reason I pulled this up here is because tomorrow night, or I should say tonight because I'm recording this video a little bit early, uh, later tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time on EA's Twitch channel, there will be a special reveal stream that's going to go over Team of the Week content, Angry Runs, but most importantly, the Season 4 Field Pass and everything that we can expect when that goes live on Wednesday. So the big reason, the main reason that I'm making this video is because with Season 3 coming to an end, if you didn't max out that Field Pass, you have a very limited time to go ahead and do so, and I don't want you guys to miss out on some really good rewards. The other thing is... This happens every time. I'm going to sound like a broken record if you watch my videos pretty frequently, but with the Season 3 Field Pass coming to an end and Season 4 beginning, what is going to happen is at some point Tuesday, maybe afternoon, early evening, maybe even early morning, EA is going to send out a tweet saying, on Wednesday morning, there's going to be server maintenance. Now, Wednesday is November 20th, and when that server maintenance begins, which is usually about 4, 5, 6 a.m. Eastern Time, the game is going to totally shut down. They're more than likely going to lock the Mutt Ultimate Team or Madden Ultimate Team game mode from your main menu to where you're not going to be able to access it. And when that maintenance is all complete and you can get back into Mutt, Season 4 will be live. If you pay attention to the description of the Season 3 Field Pass, it says Season ends on November 20th, which is Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Again, I know this is repetitive to those of you that watched my videos in the past, but that is extremely inaccurate because when those servers go down on 11.20 at about 5 a.m. Eastern Time, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself one more time, when they come back up, which will probably be after 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Season 3 is going to be gone, but you're not going to have until 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time because that maintenance is going to be before this deadline that they show in-game. So I say all of that to say whatever you need to get done, whether it's objectives, solo challenges, anything that's related to Season 3, you need to have it done by Tuesday night, basically before you go to bed, because when you wake up and the maintenance is taking place, it's all over. You're not going to be able to get back. Now, what is it exactly that you should be doing before the field pass ends? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You got to knock out your objectives. You want to try to max out this field pass completely. The max level is 45. If you did not purchase the premium field pass, which was definitely worth the $15, uh, in my opinion, the highest free overall upgrade token that you're going to get is at an 89, which means you're going to have to spend your season tickets to get those players to a 90 or 91 because there's no 90 or 91 upgrade tokens within the Season 3 Field Pass if you did not get the Premium Field Pass. If you did get the Premium Field Pass, 
You got packs like this where you get your choice of a 91 overall upgrade token or season tickets. If we scroll back a bit at level 40, you got a 91 overall upgrade token there plus an 88. Um, so it was definitely worth the $15. I mean, you got this either or pack where you could get an 85 overall platinum card and that card gave you like 200,000 coins. So if it, when it comes to upgrading your players at this point, I still think that the best three are Brian Dawkins, Kyle Vandenbosch, and Martell. Bennett, but we saw with the video I put out last night, and we're going to find out more information whenever the promo drops today, uh, with Team Diamonds potentially jumping up to a 95, these 91 overall cards are going to get left in the dust pretty fast. So if you need to upgrade any of them to the max OVR of a 91, and you need to try to get some of these free upgrade tokens, whether they're free because you didn't buy the premium field pass, or they're free, but you did buy the premium field pass, you spent the $15, but they're still included in here. Um, if you need to try to get to those tokens, you need to do that, obviously, before this field pass expires. And the only possible way to earn the XP right now is what's in the game. There's nothing that's going to be added. You got your week one through five milestones. These now update on Wednesdays. They used to be Tuesdays, which kind of left some confusion. If we would get another milestone, weekly milestone section right before the field pass ended, this is what would happen when, uh, from season two to season three. And we didn't get that. Now these update on Wednesdays, which obviously would be after the field pass goes live. So this is all you got. Weeks one through five, obviously your dailies. We had boosted XP on your daily objectives over the weekend. That is no longer taking place, unfortunately, which is a shame because that was a really, really nice addition there. But there's definitely more than enough XP to go out there and max out the field pass to level 45. So you got your program section with most feared and unstoppable. All of this stuff is going to go away as well. And it's also going to be your last opportunity to earn XP. Now, if you knock out every single objective that's available right now, whether it's all of the milestone stuff, all of the program stuff, and you're still short of level 45, that means you weren't doing your daily objectives. I'm certainly guilty of missing it. I don't know if there's like a certain number of days that you could have missed and still knocked out the field pass. I honestly don't know if there's enough XP that I have available here to me. I really got to grind over the next 24 hours or so uh, for me to get to level 45. But remember, if you don't totally max this one out, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm actually really surprised that you can't buy the last five levels. I think you can buy up to level 40, but I can't see that now because I already hit level 40. Um, but, you know, like I said, it, it's not going to be the end of the world if you can't max it out. I definitely would try to get to level 44 because that's going to give you a season four xp token i have two of these already i believe this would be my third one i don't know if one of them was extra because of the premium field pass but at this point like i said i feel like the top three you know players from the season three field pass all pretty good but could get outdated very soon and they've already confirmed it we already know this from season two to season three Whatever season tickets you have left over are going to convert over to season four, which is a big, big W. So you can see I have almost 13,000 season three tickets right now. At this point, I think I'm pretty much set on upgrading the players I want to upgrade. I personally got LeVon Kirkland because he gets Eagles chemistry, but I think he's probably the fifth best option when it comes to these players and who you should upgrade first. So I feel pretty good with the players that I did upgrade. And at this point, I'm going to carry all of those season three tickets tickets over to season four now we know that we're probably going to be time gated on that last upgrade collectible or upgrade token for season four as we showed you earlier in the video with mutt leaks but i know whoever these players are going to be i might be able to max them out to whatever ea allows us to max them out at that given time when season four goes live right away because i'm carrying over so many of these season three tickets over to season four and it's really a snowball effect because I carried over a good portion from two to three. And because I had so many left over from season two that I could use in season three, now I'm accumulating a bunch more plus because of that premium field pass. And I think even from season four to season five, I wouldn't be surprised if I have a lot more than 13,000 tickets going into that season because I'm carrying so many over and then all of the ones that I earned during that kind of cycle of the season four field pass, I don't end up needing those. Now, of course, you could totally risk it and not do any of that because outside of using those tickets to buy upgrade tokens, 
you do have your option to pick and, and sell those and pick up some packs here. Uh, as far as the best packs, I'll be honest, it feels like a lot of people have been hitting me up in the comments and Twitch chats, etc., uh, that they've been having a lot of luck with Boomer Bust packs. And it's not, it doesn't necessarily need to be the 85 plus pack. You know, some people are having lucky with the luck with the, the lower over ones. I personally like the value recruitment packs because you kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck. But if you happen to get a really good card out of this this is going to be more valuable than five cards out of this pack or any of other any of the other value recruitment packs so it's really up to you i don't think there's a right or wrong answer here if you want to risk it and open up any of these packs that are available with your tickets by all means go for it before they expire but because they carry over to season four technically they don't expire and it's a one-to-one -one conversion rate so everything that you have is just going to go right to season four and that's going to give you a really nice jump on the new season four players and at the end of the day all of these packs will be there for season four as well but they'll probably have updated odds and updated overall so you don't even really need to force the uh, need to spend those tickets on these packs because these packs are going to be there next season and your tickets are going to be there next season as well some other things that will be going away completely once season four goes live i don't think it's a huge deal but it is worth mentioning if you go to your archive section in your field passes gridiron guardians and then also the breakouts promo these field passes and it says the program expires on november 20th so these are going to be gone it does say 1 30 instead of 10 30 a.m eastern time i don't really believe that i think these are going to be gone when season four is activated you know whatever time that happens to be uh wednesday early morning or kind of late afternoon we'll see exactly when that takes place i'm sure we're going to be eating in a game uh, getting a gameplay patch i think that we're going to see an adjustment to ability points on offense and defense i think we'll see new caps because we're going to start seeing a lot more of the better abilities that really we haven't seen in the game early in the year we're going to start to see those are probably going to be a bit more expensive but i definitely think along with the gameplay patch that we're likely to see on wednesday wood season for we see an adjustment to ability points those promos will go, go away as far as the field pass goes it doesn't say it in the description here but i'd be willing to bet along with the field passes for gridiron guardians and breakouts the solo challenges are going to go away not a huge deal there but sometimes people might rely on certain solos to knock out certain objectives at the end of the day training camp in the hispanic heritage month solo challenges are probably the best places to go to get yards and touchdowns and tackles and fumbles and things like that and neither of those will be going away for the duration of the year so we will probably see some of these solos go away but i don't think they're really going to be that impactful to your everyday you know life of what you're doing in madden ultimate team and then uh one other thing that we still didn't see through the entire duration of season three and i was really surprised at that maybe they do it for season four is strategy item sets now at this point in the season three field pass i think when you get to level 43 which is something i really need to make sure i get to um you can get a purple strategy item and we're going to eventually see legendaries which are our gold ones there but we still have yet to see any type of upgrade set for like rare strategy items which are blues right now we only have the uncommon strategy item so when you go to item sets and you sort by core set you're probably going to see at some point this year the uncommon strategy item set then a rare set and then hopefully an epic one after that um but i personally just been continuing to hang on to my strategy items i've rolled all of my silvers or most of my silvers up to greens and uh, at this point I'm just hanging on the green, hanging on to the greens until they put a set into the game where I can exchange those to blues, and then I'll continue to hang on to the blue strategy items until I can put those to purple and then gold eventually. So I would try to practice some patience on these. We'll still get the daily objectives that give you a quick sell uh, pack and then a strategy pack. Those strategy packs will probably be very rare, but they do actually contain the blue strategy items and purples and eventually golds. Uh, but I would continue to hang on to those because they could eventually. Have have some really good value if and whenever we see those upgrade sets i mentioned in the last night's video along with all of the other leaks and just everything that's going on in mutt right now the aka promo is basically all over you can see that they branded it here as the final release so the solos probably will not go away 
but you're not really going to have any use for those tokens and by the day they're going to lose value so make sure you go through knock out your aka solos and go redeem those four free cards if you've already exhausted the first 60 tokens which will give you the two free, two full champions from the promo and you can get the new 91 johnny manzel you can get a bunch of those 90s the jj watt 91 is really good if you've already redeemed 60 of them and you're not a money spender that means you're not going to be able to get to another set of 30 tokens to redeem for another one make sure you use those up go out there and get an 88 or two if you can afford those i think the set for those is eight different tokens because 88s right now have a little bit of value but come wednesday thursday friday etc because we're likely to see pack odds change and we're going to get an overall increase and go from 91 overall champions and 92s and 92 overall ltds and 93s 88s are no longer going to be part of set pieces for like the unstoppable promo and aka and legends legends etc 88s are going to lose value so i would try to start selling those though the market has already begun to crash because of season four because of these team diamonds that are coming out that could be all 95 overalls um so that's really it man just make sure you get all of your objectives done and make sure you get it all done before you go to bed tuesday night because it's going to be gone when you wake up wednesday and whenever either mutt leaks puts out the information or that special stream takes place tonight uh we'll be dropping a video going over everything you need to know about season four and when it goes live on wednesday of course i got you with a video letting you know everything you need to do at that point and the fastest ways to level up and the best players to upgrade so we got a lot of stuff going on this week in mutt 25 and season four is right around the corner thank you for watching this video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace